Hey folks, Lemonade here. And today we got the Grandmaster Ling in the office. We're going to be reviewing this. It's my first esports tiger pad. Pretty excited about that. Let's get into it. Right, before we get into it, if you decide you do like this video, don't forget to like and sub down below. At some point, it does help the channel out a lot. Thanks. Okay, so let's get into the specs here. So the pad comes in one size 480 by 400 by 4 millimeters thick. More on the thickness a little bit later in the video. Um, I would like to see probably other sizes, but for me, this is my perfect sizing for my particular desk, so I'm okay with that. Pricing is $34.99. Pretty fair and decent shipping times and costs all around the US. This does sell on Addis Inc. in the US. They're, they're I believe, a California distributor. Uh, I do have a affiliate link down below, so you can check that out. But I'm not aware that they sell this anywhere else in terms of international distributors. I do think Addis does ship internationally, though. Now, in terms of the designs, it comes in three styles. So we have the black and the pink here, and I think it's pretty freaking cool, dude. It's this black and pink Uzi. Um, it's, I mean, that's just super unique. I love this kind of stuff. I love seeing these crazy, crazy designs on mouse pads. Uh, it also comes in a couple of different colors. So same design. Um, you have a baby blue and cotton candy with a kind of a white and then a black with the white and gray. I'll put uh, images up here at some point in the video while I'm talking. Now the surface itself, uh, no coating on it. It is a uniform X and Y. Humidity resistance is quite good. Again, I live in one of the most humid states in the US and I've had zero issues with it. Now the base, it is a kind of synthetic rubber, uh, I believe. I mean, they did tell me it is just like the Zowie ones and I believe that's a synthetic rubber as well. And I can confirm it does feel like it, at least uh, just off the touch. I have a GSRE Rouge over there, uh, review coming soon. Um, one advantage of this particular iteration of the foam in the base is that it does lay out flatter than the Zowies, and uh, mine still kind of has a curling issue on the corners. This one did a little bit, just a little light kind of bending. I got it to lay flat on the sides. In the middle, I had no issues in terms of it coming out of the box. Uh, stitching is well done all around. No waviness, no fraying. The weave is tight, uniform. It's actually really thin and completely flush with the surface. That's great stuff. Okay, so now for the surface, because this is super unique. Okay, so it feels like the surface of a windbreaker, like those coats, right? Something like that. Um, it's kind of that scratchier sounding polyester. You maybe have like some sports clothes or some jackets that have that kind of sound. I'll, I'll try to do a sound test here in, in a second. Um, that said, it's not rough. It's pretty darn smooth, actually. So it's not like rough like you would think on a speed pad. Um, it's an interesting combo. I don't notice the sound while I'm playing, but definitely, you know, when you move your hand side to side, it's definitely a little bit more audible, more high pitched than like most mouse pads. It's not really bothering me, but just something to note depending on your living situation. And I'll uh, pull this up to the mic here and kind of show you the sound of that now. You can probably hear that, right? All right, so the closest comparison, I guess, would have to be to the Lethal Gaming Gear Venus. And like I said in my recent review of the Super Beings Lab Memento, check out the video here somewhere, uh, it is slightly faster than the Venus. Now, while it performs pretty similar to the Memento, the surface is wildly different. That said, the description on their website that says it's balanced, just take that with a pinch of salt because it's definitely more on the speed side of the spectrum. I will say it's uh, slower than the Vanser Ice, the Vanser Ace, Game Sense Rush, definitely slower than those pads. So the Grandmaster Ling here has better baked in control. It's a pretty freeing pad with you know minimal dynamic and static friction. You do feel a little bit more tug on the static friction, but not much, just enough, a nice little pinch of it. Couple that with the kind of thinner foam, it definitely leans into being a speedier pad. Now, earlier I did say that the pad was four millimeters in thickness. I did compare it to my other pads out there, and this definitely is a little bit shorter. I don't know how much, 
I don't have like a measuring tool for that, but I mean, it's probably more in the line of like a 3.5 millimeter. Um, so again, that kind of leans into it being speedier just because of the overall thickness being lower. Now for me, that was a nice surprise because I do kind of like pads that are generally a little bit faster, but for folks kind of expecting the speed level of a Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn, Pure Track MF2, I just wanted you to know. Performance in game. While I can see people using this on tracking heavy games and tax shooters, I think it's just going to be better suited for games like COD, Apex, Overwatch 2. You know, maybe someone with a 40 centimeter, 360 or faster, you would be pretty happy with the overall speed. Anything else though, you'd probably benefit for something uh, like a slower pad. Now, in terms of the speed of skates, I always do these in my reviews, so you kind of get a general feel for how different skates perform and, you know, my different mice here. Um, in terms of speed, overall, the quickness of the Lamzu Atlantis and my Corpad Air skates, they were pretty spot on. Uh, these are kind of almost like a variation of Tiger Ice skates, I believe. Uh, so pretty quick and speedy in terms of overall feel. Next up was the kind of four corner design. These were pretty close. I just had to kind of give the edge to uh, these two. And then lastly, the glass skates were actually the kind of slowest, um, which is kind of funny because on the Momento, the glass skates felt the fastest, even though I said they were similar in speed. I really think this kind of unique surface is probably throwing the glass off. You know, again, mileage can vary with glass like I discussed in my other video up here about glass skates in general. Uh, that being said, none of these felt like abnormally slow or weird it's just when i'm kind of trying to get a general idea for folks i do want to describe those subtle differences okay so where do we sit with this thing lemonade what do you think of the overall pad i think it's an awesome pad it's pretty unique and surprisingly more unique than i thought it would be i really thought i was going to get some variation of like an artisan clone nope esports tiger kind of hit it out the park this is my first time testing one of their pads and this surface again super unique qc spot on the packaging's great the stitching is some of the best i've seen the uh rubber base is pretty unique as well the designs are funky at a fair price and pretty fast shipping i mean i can't not recommend it give it a try grandmaster ling and on that note all my socials are down below with any affiliate links and discount codes i do have an affiliate link with ADA, so appreciate you check it out from there if you had a good time with me today likes and subs are always appreciated Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. But until the next Fresh Squeeze video, stay thirsty, folks.